What's going on guys? It's your boy Adjen back again for another Higan Aerotail video and for today let's talk about my take on the current state of the game because I have been playing Higan for almost uh, 2 weeks now if you will see my login screen I've been playing for 13 days and I am already bored with the game even though I, I've uh, spent some uh, a few bucks in the game I'm still bored in the game I don't know why maybe it's just me but the progression in this game is really really harsh in my honest opinion why did i say that one i've already made a preview uh, a video before tackling the problems of higa and erotail mainly the stamina problem some people some players will tell you that you are not allowed to clear contents on day one or in week one yada yada while i can understand their sentiment about that one it's still a fact that all of the stages, not not really all, but most of the stages, cost a lot of stamina. Especially the farming uh, stages where you need to farm uh, the necessary drops to raise your characters into past level 70. So, leveling up your characters past level 70 is really a pain. Uh, it's somewhat like a cater to end game players, but the problem with that one is that you are gated... Uh, into clearing content because the game has a system called the uh, combat power and if, if you do not meet the necessary combat power to enter the stage or to beat the stage you will get fucked and how can you raise your combat power it is tied to your character's progression and the game is uh, hindering us players to raise our characters and uh, they are trying uh, to limit us to how many times we can play the game but that is a uh, good for some people but if you if i want to play the game i really want to play the game but the game does not uh, give uh, that that much stamina or they do not fix the stamina issues just yet i've seen in the official discord and also in the official subreddit regarding uh, a lot of people complaining about these stamina issues which uh, has not been addressed yet by the developers but I, I will still give them the benefit of the doubt with regards to this one since uh, the game is still very new and as i've said we, we're all already uh two weeks uh since lunch and also the honeymoon phase is already over since we we're not uh, getting any more codes we're not getting any more previews yada yada but we do have uh, a new event coming up which is uh just about time uh, today when I was about to record this video, as you can see, all new content preview coming on April 21st up to May 11th. And this one includes uh, this one, the new character. Yes. So we will be getting a uh, thematic event, Field of Snow. So this time it's a water element type. Because uh, right now we have the uh, fire element type, which is the future character is Searchlet. Here we will be getting uh, Snow Honey Sheru as the featured SSR character in this event. And also, I believe that uh, she will be a limited character again, which is not really looking good for the game, in my honest opinion. If it turns out that Searslet is not going to be added in the standard pool, the same thing will be happen probably with uh, Sheru. And that's Pomo. A lot of people will get turned off because of Pomo. Why, why is it a big problem? Because the amount of resources that you can get daily is very scarce. It's very, uh, I would say that the, the game is not really F2P friendly when it comes to giving out uh, summon resources for you to summon. Especially in this type of limited, ba limited banners where they have this different type of uh, limited uh, summon tickets. Like take a look at for example the summon banner for searslet as you can see you you need this uh feather the flame seagull you cannot use your uh, regular tickets to summon here which is kind of a let down in my honest opinion if only we can use those uh summon tickets like this one the, this one i'm talking about the star seagull if only we can use this star seagull in this uh, limited type of banners then i think there will be no problem since uh i, I believe the game is uh giving us uh, more of this one but sadly we cannot use this one 
in this type of limited banners. A lot of F2Ps will get turned off from this one, especially if the upcoming character is really OP. Because probably a lot of players have already spent up their uh, summon resources into summoning. Because not only you are required to summon for characters, you also need the play, the artifact system in this game. Uh, this one, they have their own banner also. And this, even though the cost for summoning in this uh, banner is not uh, the same when summoning for unit unit banner, it will still up uh, use up a lot of your summon resources. That is why you will get turn. Uh, you will need to decide on whether to summon for the play cards or the unit itself. The good thing about the play the play things the, the artifact system in this game is that they are not limited because uh sure slot uh, play is not uh, limited to uh, it's not limited you can uh, still get this one probably after the banner ends because it does not state here that this is a limited banner or limited limited play but here sure slot is limited so I'm I'm not really optimistic that we will be getting Sirslet in the standard pool. Same with the upcoming character Sheru. She's probably going to be the same as Sirslet. And also, if you will notice, there are a lot of banners in the game, right? And they've just released a, a, a new set of banners. Even though uh, Nunu and uh, Rita are standard characters that you can get from the standard pool. Uh, releasing these banners are I don't know how I, I would say this one but it's not pleasing to my eyes to see a lot of banners already and we are just only two weeks into the game probably this one are for uh, enticing the whales to spend more in getting the future characters here but that's just uh, maybe a, a meeting Another problem that I've been facing in this game is the lack of golds. Yes, this one, the credits. Raising your characters costs a lot. And raising your characters, skill levels, uh, awakenings, uses these resources. And if you farm this one in the Golden Storm, in these stages, this one, as you can see, the stamina cost is 35. 30 and 35 right and the recommended power is already 40k but i can i can uh, breeze through this one but as you can see the stamina cost is 35 and the guaranteed is only how much i don't know how much uh, you can get here because i have not tried this one but the amount of credits that you can get in farming this stage are abysmally low yes you you can say that you can just sweep the gate the gate dungeon where you can get some uh, passive income of uh, some some uh, credits but the amount of credits you need to upgrade even your troop upgrading your troop to a higher level costs a lot of this one that is why we are gated with a lot of things stamina uh, resources awakening resources credits summon resources I still, I'm still giving the game the benefit of the doubt that it will still improve in the upcoming weeks. But we will see. But for, for now, these are the problems that uh, I've been uh, facing with the game. That I, That's why probably I'm getting bored with the game. Of, although you really don't want to be treating the game as a main game, only a side game because of uh, how fast the stamina usage is. And yeah, I've been treating the game as a really good side game, but... These problems needs to get addressed by the developers, in my honest opinion. Well, anyway guys, that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time, peace.